Welcome to Cadence Fidelity Point YC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to check the options available inside the Advanced Frame in the Grid Dimension command. To illustrate this, I have an example in front of you with a simple generic connector. Before we actually get to the main point of this video, let's learn a little bit more about this connector. If I put my mouse pointer on top of my connector, I can see on the lower right portion of your point wise screen, the dimension of this connector is currently 30. If I select my connector and I go to grid distribute, I can see selecting the functions tab that the distribution function of this connector is actually of type general. So what is a general distribution? A general distribution means that the location of the grid points inside that connector, they're actually stored in memory instead of being defined by an underlying formula. Now, you can actually see that the general distribution function here, that option is grayed out. That is because you cannot explicitly set a connector to have a general distribution function. A connector is going to have a general distribution function as a result of some operation. For example, if you project this connector to an underlying database surface, it's going to end up having a general distribution. Now that we know a little bit more about this connector, let's go ahead and take a look at the grid dimension command. In particular, we're interested in the advanced frame down here. If I expand this frame, you can actually see we have a single option that is called clear existing general distributions. That option is checked on by default. So what is this option going to do? What this option is going to do is to change the distribution of that connector that is of type general to the default distribution function that you have in your current instance of pointwise. In this case, the distribution function that is set by default is the hyperbolic tangent. So to see this option in action, let's go ahead and do something to this connector. For example, I'm going to change its dimension from 30 to 40. I'm going to click the dimension button right here, click OK, and two things happen to this connector. First, as you can see again down there on the lower right portion of your point on screen, the dimension of this connector was changed to 40. But also, if I go again to the grid distribute command, you can actually see that its distribution function was set from general to tan h or hyperbolic tangent. As a little side note, the default distribution function in your current instance of pointwise can actually be set using the options in the defaults tab. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, Drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.